What's up, TikTok? Today we're talking about the Olympic figure skater Laura Brequero and why she's in the news recently. Uh, I saw a Daily Mail article or the Guardian article talking about how she was popped for cholesterol. Now, it's not a very well known AES, but it is one nonetheless. It is a 4 chloro chloro uh, derived anabolic steroid from testosterone. Uh, it it's derived in a way which means it can't convert to DHT and cannot convert to estrogen. Uh, fairly similar to oxandrolone, aka Anavar in that way. But weaker. It's not as strong as Anavar. Um, the issue with it is, is that although, yes, it's an androgenic anabolic steroid, there has been cases uh, for Italian uh, competitors, uh, which there's an, actual, there's an article written on PubMed about this from 2020, where these uh, cholesterol ball is basically used in cosmetics for uh, dermatitis and creams. So athletes who have these skin conditions, who then pick up over-the-counter medications and apply it themselves, can be picked up for cholesterol ball through their you know really high uh, high quality and precise measurements used by the Olympic committees and WADA. So did she or did she not? We. <laughs> viewer discretion. It is an anabolic anabolic steroid. It's orally bioavailable. It's comparable to a mild anavar. So you could probably take, if you're comparing it, 10 milligrams of anavar will probably equate to 2.5 milligrams of cholesterol. Uh, yeah, cholesterol. Uh, so yes, it's going to be performance enhancing. Uh, it's not going to be very viralizing, so it won't be... Uh, androgenic, it won't create masculine features. She's not going to grow a fucking beard and lose her hair like I have. Uh, <laughs> um, is it something worth adding to your stack if you're into this? Fuck no. It's, it's going to be just as hepatoxic and uh, kidney damaging as, as Anavar is, but way less potent. So it's not worth adding to your stack. Uh, be interesting to see if any other athletes get popped for Clessable, especially the Italians, where it's easier to get hold of this kind of stuff. Why would she take it? Don't know, the derivatives stick around for quite a long time. Any coach that knows what they're doing wouldn't add this into a stack to try and avoid WADA, especially when it's so like obviously uh, known by the WADA committee. Like Athletes have been popped for it before, so it wouldn't make sense to purposely add it into a stack. But that's just my opinion. It'd be interesting to know what you guys think down below. Uh, I'm going to cover the Russian figure skit figure skater, the Russian athlete that got popped recently as well. If you want me to cover anything else and give my opinions or at least clarify some bits, just ask questions down below and I'll get back to you. It always helps me with content, otherwise I'm just picking random shit out of the air. But other than that, catch you later guys. Peace.